Happy Thursday. How you doing? I want to talk to you today about prophetic prayer for debt cancellation. Do you know you can get debt cancellation? Sometimes it happens very quickly. I have seen huge debts canceled very quickly. I'll tell you about a couple of those instances. In our case, it happened about in five months, $300,000. But I have seen cases of, we had one case of $500,000 going away very quickly. It was prophetic. I'll show you how that works. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. <clears throat> the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am made rich by the poverty of Jesus. I am a wonderful person. Everything always works out for me. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Always emphasize that wonderful pastor. Wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. The ultimate pastor is the number one pastor in the country. And that's me. Because I get results. And because I'm available. Now there's other good pastors. Great pastors. But can you get them on the phone? Will they pray for you? Will they get results for you? No. Some of them can. But like this one lady who does a lot of teaching on deliverance and stuff like that. Her videos are wonderful. But you go to her website and it says she does not have time in her schedule to speak to you personally. Well, I have a ministry just as large as hers, maybe larger. Because ours goes around the world. But I make time to pray with people. Because this is what I do. That's why I tell you, don't call before 9 o'clock in the morning. Because we're getting everything ready. At 9 o'clock in the morning, I've set aside the rest of the day to take phone calls. Now, if we're flying in the airplane or doing something, I'll call you back. If you don't get through, you'll get a call back. The reason is because I want to get your prayers answered. I don't just pray with you. I get them answered for you. Amen. Jesus said we can get our prayers answered. I said, okay. So I do. Huh? Make sure you call today if you need your prayers answered. And make sure, real sure you call when you do your offerings and your donations. Because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. God gave the priest the authority to speak the blessing over people. And I'm telling you what, folks. I do that by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 says that by faith, Isaac and Jacob spoke blessings. It has to be done by faith. Whoever is speaking that blessing has got to be doing it by faith or there's nothing happens. I do it by faith. I have, I just, I just believe God's word. Somebody said to me one time, oh, Pastor Jim, you've got so much faith. Oh, and it's nice to hear. But let me tell you what it is. I just believe what God said. That's all. It's just that simple. I just believe every word in this book. Exactly the way it's written. Now, you want to call that faith? I guess it is. I just, when Jesus said it, I believe it. He said that I can do what he did. I said, okay. He said, those that have faith in my name shall cast out devils and lay hands on the sick and you will recover. I read that three weeks after I got saved and it worked. And I've been doing miracles ever since. God's been doing miracles through me ever since that day. Three weeks after I got saved, miracles were happening. Because I just believed what it said. I'll do that for you. Huh? Share this video with everybody you know. 
hit the like button. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and hit the like button on Facebook too. And on Facebook, hit the invite button at the top on the right if you're watching this in our group and invite all your friends to join. You could save people's lives by telling them about this ministry. Tell everybody, call Pastor Jim. If you're sick, call Pastor Jim. If you're broke, call Pastor Jim. If you need a prayer answer, call Pastor Jim. If you're hunting for a husband, call Pastor Jim. Whatever it is, call Pastor Jim because he will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you. And that's what I do. Well, I'm talking to you today about, about prophetic prayer for debt cancellation. Now, you have to understand what a prophetic prayer is. A prophetic prayer is not begging God for something. Oh, Lord, please help me with my debt. That's not prophetic prayer. Prophetic prayer is saying, Lord, your word says that I am blessed. Now you take my debt away. That prophetic prayer is a declaration, a decree declaring that God will do something. Did you know that we can do that? That we can actually declare that God will do something? And he will. That's the amazing thing about it. Not only do we declare that God will do something, but he will do it. One of the best cases of that is found in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 17. Hannah is too old to have a baby. And she is childless. And she's crying in the temple because she wants to have a baby. And the priest sees her. He, she's, she's crying so hard, he thinks she's drunk. She said, no, I'm pouring out my soul to the Lord. Have you ever poured out your soul to the Lord? I have. I talked about it yesterday. A case where I literally poured out my soul to the Lord and got my financial increase. She's pouring out her soul to the Lord, trying to get the Lord to give her a baby, to open her womb. She had been praying for over 20 years to get a baby. And nothing happened. Now the priest comes along, Eli. And he says to her in verse 17, he says, go in peace. And the God of Israel give you what you ask for. And he walked away. That is the example of a true prophetic prayer. He declares that God will give her what she wants. And she went home and conceived. She conceived right away after she got home. She was not pregnant when he spoke that. But she was expecting after he said it. Because she knew that when he said something, God would do it. There's a large group of people out there in this country who know that when I say something, it will happen. Now, I'm not the only one that can do this. Kenneth Copeland does this. Creflo Dollar does it. T. Jakes, Keith Moore. These people do that. There's a few other people that can do this too. But I'm probably the only one you can get a hold of who does. These other people, you can't get a hold of them. Too busy. I'm not. I am never too busy for God's people. I love to make things happen in the lives of God's people. That's what a minister is all about. I have done this. I have gotten a crowd of several thousand people all healed at one time by speaking over them. 
I mean, people got healed all over the building. I've gotten small groups healed. I've got it done over the phone. I've gotten groups of people healed over the phone. I've gotten groups of people blessed. Over the, people call me to speak over their Bible studies over the phone. I bless the whole Bible study and cast out every evil spirit that's going on and break every curse in the life of everybody there. If you got a Bible study going on, you need to call me while it's going on. Put me on speaker. I'll bless the whole group. I'll get everybody healed there that needs healing. Amen. Because of the power in the name of Jesus. There's so much power in that name, you can't, but you can't imagine it. You just, most people have no idea of the power in that name. Think of the most powerful nuclear bomb ever built and multiply that by a million and you're still not coming close to the power in the name of Jesus. Not even close. The power in the name of Jesus is the same power that God used to create the world. That's the power that's available to us. And prophetic prayer will activate that power. You think we can't get you financial increase? We, you think we can't get your body healed? Huh? You think we can't get your debt canceled to make your debt go away? This lady in our church, her husband died. She had a $500,000 bill. Just so happens, his life insurance was $500,000 too. This medical bill was going to take every penny of it. And they wouldn't pay it because they said his treatment was experimental. I declared that her payment would be made through the power in the name of Jesus. And guess what? Within just a couple of days, they said, we'll pay the bill. She kept the insurance money. Glory to God. Now, that was a $500,000 debt can. Another lady, her husband died. She was in our church. She had a huge medical bill. They said, we need you to come into the office and talk about this. So she went over like the wonderful lady that she is. She's from Jamaica. They're from Jamaica. Wonderful, wonderful people. They worked in education their whole lives. Good Christian teachers. Both of them. Oh, he died. And she was left with huge bills. She went up to the hospital, to the office up there. And they said, well, let's take a look. They couldn't find her bill. It was erased from the computer. Either somebody paid it or I, we to this day do not know what happened. But they told her, she's sitting right there and finally the managers all come in and they look through this. They said, ma'am, you don't owe us any money. We're all set here. This bill is paid. It's gone. She didn't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But when she brought that up in our church, I declared that that bill would be taken care of. Through the power in the name of Jesus. And it was. You got some debt? Call me. I'll speak over your debt. All you have to do is be quiet. My, I had... Three, I was $300,000 in debt. Our debt went away in five months. That was super nice. I asked Mary one day, I said, how much do we owe? She said, nothing. I said, what? She said, I paid it all off. I said, how'd you do that? Money just came in. We didn't get no big checks. Now, part of it was a house that we got taken care of. But, a, but tens of thousands of dollars, credit card debt, all went away. You call me, I will speak prophetically over your debt and you can get a miracle debt cancellation.